When you saw the title for this video, you probably thought, wait, Steven, are we brewing coffee with bees? No, it's a coffee brewer. We're gonna talk about how to use it. Hello, my name is Steven Holm and I'm from Home Grounds and I apologize for that intro. But like I said, today we are talking about the Bee House Stripper. This is a great pour over brewer. If you are just getting into pour over coffee and maybe intimidated by all this information out there about, oh, you have to be really careful about your grind size and your water temperature and you have to pour exactly like this. No, this is a great brewer. If you don't want to invest a ton of money into equipment, you can use any water kettle you have lying around. You don't need to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a coffee grinder. This is a great brewer that's really forgiving, easy to use, and still makes a really good cup of coffee. Now the stripper comes in two different sizes. This is the one cup and there's also a two cup version. They both only come in ceramic, which is sort of a downside if you want something a little more sturdy or you just wanna be able to travel with it. But they do use standard number two and number four filters, which you can find at your local grocery store. You don't have to seek out any special filters for this brewer. There are a couple features with this brewer that make it really forgiving and great for someone just starting out with pour overs. The first being these two holes here at the bottom of the brewer. What those are gonna do is restrict the flow of coffee out of the bottom of the brewer so that you don't have to worry as much about how fast you're pouring in. You don't have to have a perfect stream going around and hitting all the coffee equally. You just have to worry about pouring your water in and getting the amounts right. The second nice feature about the Bee House is these steep sides. That just encourages the water to flow downwards and it won't create any pockets in your slurry. And then the last thing is you have these little windows down here. If you're not using like a clear carafe or something, maybe you're just brewing into a mug, you can set it on there and still be able to see how your coffee is dripping out of the bottom. So some pros of this brewer, obviously as I've been talking about, it's more forgiving. It's gonna be great for beginners, people who don't wanna worry about the equipment they're using, but still want to be able to brew a cup of pour over coffee, something really great. This is a really, really good brewer for you. Second, it looks nice. It's all ceramic. They look really nice on a counter. What else is there to say? The third pro is that although it's really easy to use, it still makes really delicious coffee. The only cons I can really think of is, although it's really nice to look at, it is all ceramic. These will break easily, especially this handle. I can see it dropping and just, it would explode exactly like that if you dropped it. But the biggest downside to this brewer is kind of the thing that makes it good for some people, but bad for others. It's that it is a lot more forgiving and you don't have as much flexibility with this brewer. You don't get as much out of it by adjusting your grind size just perfectly and getting your nice gooseneck kettle and having the perfect circular motion of pouring. You don't get as much of the benefits out of those things, but that's what makes this brewer so good is it's really forgiving. So let's brew a cup of coffee with it, shall we? So these steps to brew with the Bee House are gonna be pretty similar to any other pour over brewer you have. You're gonna take these number two filters for the smaller one and fold along the lines there. And then we're gonna rinse everything to both get out any papery taste from the filter and also heat up everything else. Pouring with the wrong hand here. So this is very difficult. Dump out your rinse water. And now we can get brewing. I have ground 22 grams of coffee on a medium setting. Add those, shake out the brewer to kind of even everything out. And then we have water heated up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Start off with pouring in about 60 grams for a bloom. Give it a stir or just a quick shake here. Let that sit for about 30 to 45 seconds, depending on how fresh your coffee was roasted. And then we can get brewing. You don't really have to worry about how fast or slow you pour your water. We are pouring 340 grams of coffee into here. Just stopping when we're coming right above the brewer. When you're done, if you'd like, just give it a little wiggle, swirl, shake, 
whatever you want to call that. Just you kind of grab everything from the sides, draw it down, and hopefully we'll end up with a fairly flat bed of coffee grounds at the end. It's crazy that this brewer is completely made out of bee carcasses. Actually, I don't know why it's called the Bee House Stripper. It's probably unrelated to bees, but they put bee in the name, so really throwing me off here. And that finished brewing right at about three minutes and 30 seconds. That is everything you need to know about the Bee House Stripper. It makes a really delicious cup of coffee and does it really easily. So if you have any further questions about the brewer, please let me know in the comments down below. We have a full buying guide and review on this brewer on our website that I will also link down below. And that is all. Until next time, happy brewing. When you saw the title of this video, did you think we were making coffee with bees? Well, we're not. Did you think we were making bee coffee? No, silly. It's a coffee brewer. Did you know that bees make coffee? Wow, bees make coffee. Did you know that? Bee house.